Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I'll be your instructor this quarter for Math 101, and I wanted to walk you through the class so that would help you with your syllabus quiz. You might find this format a little easier than reading through the whole syllabus. Um, this is the front page or home page in Math uh, in Canvas that I'm looking at, and you can see you have the content modules, syllabus announcements, and so forth here. So if you click on the syllabus, you can see the same thing that you could see if you clicked on files. So if you come over here and click on files anytime through the quarter, if you want to find a homework assignment, or here's what the syllabus and calendar would be, or notes for homework, those could all be found under files. And so it's a useful thing to go to files sometimes just to find something rather than scrolling back through modules to find things. But if you go to the home page and click on syllabus, you will see the syllabus here. And over here on the right is going to be one of your questions, what percent of the class is based on activities or based on homework? And that's shown right here. It's also in your syllabus here, but it might be easier to find right there. Uh, one of the things that I will ask about that's important for you to know is that I don't have late penalties on anything, but there are times when things close and you just can't do it anymore. So discussions are meant to be timely because you're talking to other people, you're responding to theirs, they're responding to yours, and so if you come in two weeks later to post, everyone's done, so you really can't do that. So discussions will close after one week from the original due date. Get it and get those done sooner than later. They don't take long. Post three or four things, answer a couple questions. It should be an easy grade for you to keep up with. Um, the activities are probably the most difficult thing in the class. They are meant to be critical thinking and problem solving, estimation, application to technical programs. And so they're hard sometimes. Um, we will meet every Thursday at 9.30 in the morning and we'll go over that week's activity or I'll give you some insights and help on it. I will record those sessions and upload them. And once you, I've uploaded them, you will be able to click on Panopto recordings to see um, that recording in case you can't come to the 9.30 meeting. Um, so the activities are open throughout the entire quarter until the very end of the quarter, um, they all shut at once. So the last day to do any of the activities, activities one through nine, I think it's 11.24, we're done after that. So everything has to be done by then. And the career field interview is kind of an activity, but it's something you have to do. Anything with an asterisk means you don't get to drop it at the end of the quarter. So, sorry to scroll through so fast. Um, anyway, so um, activities are, you can do them until the end of the quarter. If you do them once and you get a low grade, I will send you feedback and say, hey, here's what you could have done. Please try it again so you can get a better score on it. I do drop two of the nine activities at the end of the quarter, so I'll drop your two lowest, um, but the other seven are gonna make up your grade. So you wanna get those grades up in their applications that are important. Sometimes they are a Canvas quiz and you get three attempts. If you take it the first time and totally bomb it, don't just take it the second time. Watch the videos that I've provided or read through the notes I've provided or you can send me questions, but watch those videos and try the notes before you send me questions. If you have three attempts, make sure you don't open that third attempt and take it before getting help because after three attempts, you don't have more attempts on the quizzes. Anything that's a paper thing, we can do back and forth as much as necessary, but you want to save me the grading time, you want to save yourself time, learn the material before you just turn something in. That's pretty basic, but you know, people are people and they want to get things done and so they try it and it's like a bomb. So just try it. If you want to try it once, fine, but then learn it before you try it again. Um, homework, also uh, no penalty for being late, but it's oh, it closes two weeks after the due date. So once the due date has passed, you have two weeks to get that in. That's 14 days is a long grace period. So you have two weeks after the uh, homework um, and the quizzes also two weeks after that and then the final project well because it's due on the in the finals week you don't have a lot of grace period on that you have to get it in um, I'll ha you'll have over a week to work on it before that starts but then the second day of final exams is the day the last day to turn it in so everything has no late penalty but it does have these stop out dates the activities are the ones that go on the longest those are things, important things to think about. I 
when you go through the class, if you click on the modules, that's how I would do it. Let's look at the student view of the modules. Um, week one, it will tell you what we're covering. Uh, there will be a discussion. There'll be a homework assignment that's on my open math. There's nothing to buy for the quarter. You don't have to buy anything for this class. But if you wanted to buy a calculator, I highly recommend the TI-36X Pro because it's easy to use and it's pretty cheap. And I have a lot of videos showing you how to use that calculator. It's about $20. That's written in the syllabus. If you want to go back and see what calculator, I recommend TI-36X Pro. So you have a discussion this week, uh, first week, then you have a homework assignment, and then you have an activity. And the activities are, are something where I apply uh, what you've just learned to something out in the world. It may not be your particular field, you just have to be uh, patient. If you're a uh, you know, dental hygiene student, something's going to come around for you, something's going to come around for welding and automotive, etc., baking. That all things are going to come around eventually, but not every week applies to you because we're all in this class together. Um, week two, you have a homework assignment and an activity. Week three, um, we have that discussion and then um, homework and activity. That's kind of out of order. I've only got the three up there right now, the first three weeks, but that's kind of how it's going to go. My strong suggestion is that you always keep a copy of that um, syllabus nearby. You can print this calendar off. You can see that in the, in the course syllabus I have a course calendar and it has everything that's due for the quarter and when it's due. Um, you may not know what battleship means or buried treasure or whatever, but those are things that are going to come up in your discussions. The homework, um, you'll see at the top of the uh, module what we're covering for homework that week so when you open it it will say something and then the activities uh, are just listed here all the activities are due on friday the homeworks are due on wednesday um, any quizzes that we have we don't have a lot but we do have some quizzes those are always due on tuesday and the discussions when we have them are due on monday so i try to keep those similar so that it makes sense to you there's a flow to the class um, i do drop one of the discussions, I do drop um, two of the homework and two of the activities, I think is how it goes. But I'm not sure I'm remembering that correctly, so let's go back and look at that. Um, here we go. So quizzes, there are four of these. I don't drop any of them. Uh, the lowest score will be dropped to the discussion. The lowest grade of nine will be dropped for homework, and the lowest two will be dropped for the activities. Um, and then your project, you don't get to drop that. There's 10 activities, but one of them is that career field thing where you, you have to do it. So that's not one of the ones that will get dropped. So out of the other nine, I'll drop two. So anything you're asked on the syllabus um, quiz, you should be able to find in here. And you can also watch this video again if you want. But um, just really welcome to the class. I do try to make it have applications so that you can see why you're learning this math. Um, there is difficult material in here. Right now it's not in the class, but you will see every time you open up a module, it'll have notes and videos to start it off. And I'll get those posted before the quarter starts. You'll have notes and videos, then you'll have homework, then you'll have an activity that's based on the homework. That's kind of the flow of it. And then every other week we have a discussion as well. All right, think, welcome to the class. Let's have a great <coughs>